Okay, today's video, someone asked me about how to make, how I would make a light box for like acrylic. I just wanted to show, this was the part, so I already actually printed it and it's, you know, it come out fine. I put a video up to show how it came out. <clears throat> Most of it really is just, you know, adding tabs and making a basic box and then it's a matter of just, you know, making the slots the correct size for your acrylic and then this little hole in the end for the power to come out of. I'll show quickly how I do tabs. So let me just drag this square out the same size. All right, I'm gonna change this now into millimeters. And what I'll do is press, like now this is selected, I'm gonna press Control and D to duplicate it. And then say on the width plus eight. So I'm adding eight millimeters on the width which will give me four millimeters out each side. And then on the height, depending what size you want your tab, you can just say minus, I say minus 25. So that's gonna take 25 millimeters. So now you can see I've got these two tabs sticking out. I selected the outside again, duplicated it, and this time added the eight, millis, eight millimeters to the height, so plus eight. So now I've got the four millimeters out each side and then from this, however much you want to take. So I'll just make this 250. Okay, so now you can see I've got that. So if I select these two and take everything out of the center over here with, and then select these two and take everything out of the center again. And now you can see I've got my four millimeter tabs on each side four millimeters, four millimeters, that's the thickness of my wood. Or actually it's 4.2, but with the curve. That's how I've done the top one. I mean, the other way you can do it is just make, you know, make the tabs the size you want. So basically, I'll just do one more square here. Let me drag this out again. All I suggest is when you do the, the side that it's going to fit to, that you set your curve offset. So if you select them both, go to this and align the vertical centers so they line up. So you can drag out right over the top of that, which will now give you the same size as this tab. So let me just see. If I go down the bottom here, you can see that's 250.30, and so is this. So this would be the opposing tab. This one's sticking out, so this, the one that's going in, you're gonna want this a little bit tighter. So all you have to do is up the top here on the width is minus however much you minus for yours. I normally 0.8 is about right for me. So it'd be 249.5. And that's how much now you'll see if I slide it down into place, you can see where the curve's been removed there now. And it would be the same this side. So. Or what to do is duplicate this so you've got another one because you're going to want one on this bottom edge. Click that and the one you want to add it to. I'm going to use this align top. So now it's aligned it there and then just press weld. And now that's took that slot out of there. If I move this up holding shift and then it moves in a straight line you can see there's the curve has gone off both sides so now it'll be a better fit and then same with the bottom you're just gonna this is already selected so i'm going to select this one and then say align bottoms and then weld it again and now you've got you know the interconnecting ones it's basically, you know, all you've got to do. What I do is I will give this, I will give this file out for free. And, you know, if you use the Home Depot Baltic Birch, it should come out fine. You know, that works perfect for me. So, but yeah, it's just a matter of adding the tabs like that, wherever you add the tabs, you know what I mean? And just make it the height you want, the length you want. I had to make mine this long because my LEDs was all one strip. But yeah, it's just a matter of, you know, your own preference. But that's roughly how I do my tabs. So I'll get to the video of putting it together. 
and show how it came out. Okay, so that just finished printing out them pieces. Um, so you've got the bottom and the top. These are the two sides. And you can see these didn't, um, it's not very straight, this wood. So. But it's, that's a nice fit, so I'll be able to glue this. Yep, same on this side. Once these are in, you've got them inner pieces. I've got to take this back apart to glue it, but I'm just going to quickly put it together for a second. This end here, all I did was, this is how I normally work it out. Calipers is easiest really, and then you just close them, zero it. And like on this part, I'll measure it, and you can see it's 10 millimeters. So actually what I did was, made it 9.8 millimeters. And then that should be a perfect fit because I've taken the kerf off, which it is, you can see even to there. But I can stuff this right in, uh, actually, I it the other way. Yeah, give it a twist in there. You can see that's never coming out of there. I still probably put a little bit of glue gun glue just between here just to make sure, but yeah, you could easily push the plug in there and that won't come out. Uh, see there. But once that's glued, that won't be going nowhere. Your lights are going to be lined up along here. Let me quickly do that. So there's the lights. I've got to cut this cable down and connect it uh, around this way. So I'll cut the cable down and connect it to there. And then, well, this end, I didn't think about that. On this end, I'm going to have to cut a notch out of here. I'll just quickly do that with my bandsaw. I'm going to have to just remember to take that out on the laser. But yeah, so that'll be going there. That would drop around that. Cables will be coming up into here. And you can see in the bottom there, the lights all line up nice and perfect in the middle. This will go on top. And then my sheet of acrylic should hopefully fit nicely in here. Yep, and then it'll fit into that bottom one. So what I'm gonna do is just take this apart again and so I can glue it up properly. Once you've got your length for your LED, you want to go red to the positive, which they should be marked on there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's just a little plus there. So I'm just going to fold that over, give it a little twist, poke it into the positive. Make sure some of the coating goes in there as well, so there's nothing exposed. Yep, while holding that in there, make sure it's tighten it down nice and tight. Just give it a little tug, make sure it ain't just going to come straight out. Same with the negative. I'm going to lay that LED in there. Normally you peel the sticky off, but like I say, I'm going to try and keep this LED so I can use it on another project. Um, so then it would be this, just to keep everything lined up. Uh, could put the lid on now. Get this last end in. This is tight. Okay, so there's the light box. Here's your acrylic. You could make that make the uh, you know make it whatever length you wanted and now you've got your connection at the end here which I haven't glued in yet but that should be fine
Now I've just got to plug it in. And it kind of shows better to your eye than what it does on the camera because the camera's picking up the brightness more from the bottom. But when I'm actually looking at it, the top is still pretty bright. Which, if I turn the ISO up, but then it starts to blow the bottom out. But yeah, you can see if I zoom in and just focus on that. I did put a video, I did make a video before on how, I'm, how I etched this line. It was actually my own photo and I edited it on Photoshop and I went through the whole process. And I'll give this file out for free. I'll just put it on there. This is wood from Home Depot, Baltic Birch. And all you would have to do really is change the size of your slot if you're using them same LEDs and plugs. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. And please like and subscribe. And I'll put out another video as soon as possible. Thank you.